What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys. Um, Ralph Wazirike, the founder and um, leader of Masop, has eventually reacted to the launch and deployment of Eastern Security Network by Nam Dekanu. Of course, you guys know that right from the uh, the moment the security network was launched, there have been a lot of reaction from um, Igbo leaders. You get uh, some of them have not actually supported the uh, movement, and Ralph Wazirike is not is one of them. So he has reacted to it, and from his reaction, he is vehemently opposed to it. You get so. I want to listen to this video of Ralph Wazirike, what he actually said. He bared his mind on it, spoke on it, and spoke of the danger of the security network and the consequences it's going to bring to the South East. So I want to listen to him, you get, and then uh, you let me know what you think. If you look in Nigeria today, the South East is the safest zone among the six zones in Nigeria. The Southeast is the safest zone, is the most peaceful zone in Nigeria. Even if there have been a multi-ton in the West and the Hizba in the North, we don't need those things in the Southeast. We don't need them. I'm being frank. If we really needed them in the southeast, we would have had them. We would have had them. So all this playing to the gallery doesn't make sense to me. It's a caricature to our people. It's, it's a laughing matter. It's laughable to gather us a number of views in the bush. With the state. It doesn't make sense. All these things have regulations. The Hizba in the north has the backing of the law. The Amotekin in the west has the backing of the law. They work with the police. They are regulated. If they arrest people, they hand over to the police. But if you gather people in the southeast without the backing of the law, anything you do is a nullity. If you die in the process, your death is of no consequence. Our people should understand. Anything you do without the force of the law backing you is a knowledge. I'm talking as a lawyer, a lawyer of over 30 years standing. Our people should learn. Our people should learn. The Southeast. If there is any threat, insecurity in, in the Southeast, I'm one of those to know. If anybody should talk about security in the Southeast today, Wazirike should be one of them. Because no person in the Southeast today can come out to say that Wazirike should take the back seat when the issue of, of security arises. Governors could talk of their own states, but I can talk of the entire Southeast because I have my members in every family. I have my security men in every family in the Southeast. I don't need to post on that. Sorry if I'm so immodest on this, but I know what I'm talking about. Our people are crossing the red lines. I know what I mean. By assembling the young guys in the bush, for whatever reason, sends send cells wrong signal to the north that you want to hunt them, that you want to attack them. You ask yourself first and foremost, do you have the right? Do you have the, the right to arrest a Fulani herdsman? Or yes, man. You have the right. If you arrest him, who will you hand him over to? Our people should think. I know when it came the other day, our people were being harassed in the north. I was the one 
I was the one that went to Arawa House in Kaduna and discussed the issue. Yupo has started again. If you keep one about uh, one uh, Ibo man, uh, one Alsa man now in the southeast, do you know how many Ibos they will kill in the north? Nobody will talk. All of you will go back to your bedrooms. Nobody will talk. Nobody will come out. But now you are clapping hands, truncating. You must know the consequences of what you do. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. All these people now who are hovering in the bush, if you want to form a security network, is it in the bush, in the forest? Is that where others are forming their own? I don't want to stop anybody from being stupid or being a nuisance. You can be wholly useless if you like. But it was written on speak. Some of my friends say, ah, I ignore them, they are useless people, they are senseless. I will not ignore anything because I know the consequences of this as a lawyer and as a stakeholder, not only in the southeast, but in Nigeria. Uh, an Igbo man may not regard to Wazirika as a stakeholder in Nigeria, but an Hausa man knows that I'm a stakeholder. A Yoruba man knows I'm a stakeholder. Because if it starts, we know those who will come out to face it. Namdekano should be warned. He enjoys all these things. It was this moon, December, that he said he is going to bring Piafra. That Piafra will come December 2020. Now, this is December 2020. I brought another Ojoro to, 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 to cover up his deficiency. And in a, in a, he doesn't have the capacity. You don't have the capacity. We are here. This is my residence. I'm talking here. You run away. Somebody who cannot withstand the heat. I think uh, South is a security network and you run away. You come here, stay with us and, uh, and face it. Well, I don't want to talk too much, but I want to warn our people. Look at what happened in uh, the other day. So many people were killed and massacred. Nobody talked about it. The international community didn't bother themselves. Because they felt that those who were killed were terrorists. Because they were branded terrorists. But look at what happened at the toll gate in Lagos. How many people were killed? Few people. But the international community has come down to raise an inquest to find out the people should know themselves. These boys now who are in the bush, if the military men surround them and kill all of them, they, they die of for nothing. It's of no consequence because they become as terrorists. Because if you are doing a lawful thing, would you be hiding in the forest to do it? The word is enough for the wise. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching that video. In that video, you saw Ralph Wazrike condemning Mahasin Namdekalo let us move. According to Ralph Wazrike, he said that this latest move by Nnamdi Nandikalo is going to cause the South East a lot of things. According to him, he said that the South East is the most safe place in Nigeria. Ralph Wazrike said that the South East region doesn't need this kind of thing right now. According to him, he said that he has heard that the Fulanese have raped one or two ladies in South East, killed one or two people in South East. But that doesn't mean that they are killing our people and they are raping our women. Rafa was really supposed to know that if they have killed our people in our land, they are killing our people in our land. If they have raped our women in our land, they are raping our women in our land. Then if government is not doing anything concerning this killing and the raping in South East, what do you want the South East people to do? They are looking for a way to protect themselves. Nandi Kano, the leader of this uh, security apparatus say that these people are not going to fight anybody they are there to defend themselves from any uh, attack you know coming to the southeast we all have heard what Owazrike said in this video so you that is watching this video air your own opinion in the comment section if you have anything to tell Owazrike or speak on behalf of the uh, 
their friends or Nandekano or the Southeast. Be more specific. Write it in the comment section. Let's know if Nandekano is wrong and if Wazuke is right in this uh, last video he made he, he made regarding Nandekano letters move. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We have so many information to give you. Please always visit our channel whenever you receive our alert. It's going to be a very good information coming to you. Thank you very much.